back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I am bringing you top six online CSS layout generators. What are CSS layout generators? They help us in creating the layout and generate the code automatically in really quick time. Layouts are something that you will often work as yes, throughout your career, even for a POC, for building a web page or building a structure of an enterprise application. Layout generators come really handy. A lot of these layouts are based on CSS Flexbox model and are pretty interesting because you can do a lot of things, generate CSS components and much, much more. So let's go ahead and take a look at those six CSS layout generators. All right, so the first one that I particularly prefer and use is layoutit.com. Now this helps us get HTML and CSS code really quick by, build, by quickly building the layouts. I'll quickly show you a quick interactive demo. So you can go ahead and add how many grids you want, uh, what are the layouts that you want. You don't want a certain thing. You can add more if you want a template or if you don't want, you can just remove them here and you can position them. You can adjust them accordingly and create a grid, right? And that's the beautiful part of it. Now you want to give a column gap you can do that as well you can give row gap so see if you want to create a grid quickly you can do that now if you don't want so many rows you want only two you can certify that also now here is an interesting thing now how much you want to generate let's say you want to generate 10 picks 10 percent right or say 20 percent sidebar and that's how you can quickly generate uh, uh, layout that you want with 20% layout and 50% right so let's say a row should be only one and there are a lot of uh, things that you can do with that it will generate you the CSS that you need all you need is just copy paste them right so you can save it and you'll get the output accordingly <coughs> all right so this is the column that you want like 20% and 80% layout that's what this is now you want to increase play with it. You can do that. You don't want any gap, then make it zero and zero. And there you are having a quick two column layout, right? So this is the quickest, easy way to generate a grid that especially helpful when you're working with say image uh, <coughs> galleries or say a template layout or a particular component in your page. If you want a certain layout, use layouted.com. All right, so the next one is again uh, something related that with that, but it also helps us with a lot of other things other than grid, uh, which is accordion, centering, close button. You can generate a lot of CSS components out of it, right? So you can see here popular uh, layouts and patterns you can generate. There are so many examples of it. Let's say I want an accordion in my application. Just go ahead and get the accordion code and you, you are done, <coughs> right? So let me show you a quick demo. Now this is an accordion open, it will close, right? And how does it work exactly? You can just copy this HTML CSS and see it in action. It would look something similar like this, right? Which will be a two column layout. Now also, uh, let me show you some other cool stuff. <coughs> All right, uh, let's say you want a <coughs> feature list, right? So you can go to the feature list and you can see how it would look and get to it, right? So these are all quick and easy code that you can generate. Take the HTML, CSS and start with a rough layout of it, right? Again, these are not fully functional components, but just layouts of those pattern. Remember that that's very, very important. You will have to still write custom code, etc. But basic layout will be generated. All right, so the next one is uh, greedy.io. Now this is a simple tool through which you can learn about CSS grids and much more thing. I would suggest and encourage you that if you're new to CSS or want to learn more about CSS grids layout, try out greedy.io. It's a good, pretty cool tool which will show you about uh, columns. How do you position the pixels, percentages, etc. What happens when you ch change those values, etc. Right. So pretty interesting, like a look and uh, what you see is what you get kind of a thing. You can add a layout, uh, position it, center it, remove the rows and see the code, how, what it generates, right? 
and you can see here this is based on display grid basically so pretty interesting thing uh, give it a try when you have time you want to learn about grids this is your go-to tool okay the next one is pure CSS now pure CSS is nothing but a set of small responsive CSS modules that you can use in a practically every web project that you're working with and it's a very tiny uh, library uh, not heavy at all uh, it has just the basic things that you need a lot of enterprises don't prefer using heavy <coughs> frameworks like bootstrap material uh, purely because they are too heavy uh, though you are using only two components it might make the use of the framework makes it too heavy instead you can start with pure.css now what this is it is simple basic it has some layouts right you have a blog layout you have email you have photo gallery landing page etc you have basic buttons you have tables <coughs> that you can use uh, responsive right so these are the commonly required components to build any particular web project so start with pure CSS if you have that comfort of choosing a framework the next one on our list is CSS grid generator now this is a project which is which will again help you generate a basic layout right now this is again a CSS grid display grid based on a, a layout kind of a thing you can check it out at CSS grid generator now this is again pretty simple and basic is right so if you want only two column layout use that now how much should be the column gap in pixel so you can say 200 or 10 or 0 for that and for rows want say 5 so you can see that right and you don't want something you can remove that also and test it out that way basically <coughs> So again, uh, you're just playing here with uh, the number of rows and columns you want and change those settings. <coughs> I'm sorry. All right. So that's about a CSS grid generator. All right. So the next one on our list is CSS uh, GR.ID. That's a pretty interesting uh, domain uh, that stands for CSS grid. Uh, it's an interactive tool to generate boilerplate code for CSS grid layouts. Yet another tool uh, which will help you simulate do the same thing how many items how many columns how many grid gap etc and you get a grid use any of these that's fine whichever you use is fine these are all used to generate a boilerplate code to get the layout again just with layout you won't do anything you will have to do a lot of customization on top of it which is fine uh, which is what is required for every project and is unique <coughs> all right so <coughs> Do let me know which is your favorite among this list. Uh, I have told you personally, I prefer to use layouted.com and pure CSS uh, when I have luxury to choose my own CSS framework. All right. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. Um, to get featured on Arc Tutorials, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and do share your comments with me. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.